He does have a siphon. He has two siphons. Uh, but they, they need crit to hit the boulder. And he has a war. He's sitting they, they pretty much they don't on top see up of the war. hill. Now they do. Like, no tell actually had to back up on top of the hill to get that vision. So they can boulder forward. The spirit siphons. Will it be enough? Scanlon's dropping low. Skewers away. The attacks. It reaches him. And that'll be first blood going the way of OG. Scandal almost escaping by the skin of his teeth, but... You know, pretty much sacrificing a lot of his time to beef up the anti mage, which is also not that bad. I think the Empire's uh, fight is way better. Skewer, King R, try to go for a combination there with a stun. Not gonna happen perfectly, but Crick came too far and keep the tower. He's definitely gonna go down and no tell. Tries to act more as an intimidation factor to keep attack. Empire off him, but that's gonna be an Radiant unsuccessful gank from Crit. Is first kill. Well, Crit does drop an Observer Ward. It was in full vision of Empire's own oh, Observer they're, Ward. They're forcing a rotation right now on bottom lane. It's no tell coming over. They want to get Ramsey to blink, or you just use the silence. So say goodbye to the Animage. You can get that kill. Maybe uh, maybe with a Hex? Uh, That's really difficult. You have to get it straight away. You'd, you'd actually almost require a Scandal skewer to skewer RP. forward to get into an RP. There's top lane, Arp Life, gonna be initiated on, just starts his TP out. Unfortunately, they're still kicked to Balbler, surging himself out, 44 HP! He's been one more hit, and in comes Notel. With the kill secure, the rock was also on his way, the RP instantly committed to Notel. He's gonna go down underneath that tier 1 tower. So Empire will trade the off laner for the mid laner of OG. Damage. Like, they're, they had four heroes try and commit to a clockwork with not that much strength, plus nine strength from his items. Yeah, you almost see my finger of death fly. He may have actually given him a freebie here. Tries to run it off with the shockwave. Yep, there it is. It will be a fake freebie. He was going for the D ward on the obs. I'm just kidding. Dude. I've seen everything, Mertlini. Literally have the eye. I like getting you angry. Ah, you trigger me, bro. King Art, this time, he's gonna gank with that finger of death. They want no tell, but Moon's gonna hookshot himself forward. Scandal can't get the RP off. He gets silenced up by no tell. Now he's gonna skew himself away. She's dragging Moon with him and his dead corpse, but this will not stop no tell. Keeps the pressure up. Spirit siphoning around. He'll be able to fight for this, but now Ramsey's comes into the fight. Man of Void only level one to Babel. The damage is almost enough to kill off no tell. They'll try and moon him up. I mean, moon him up, earn him up by Moon. The cogs are also available up in one second time, so Moon can create some space, allowing OG to retreat away from this fight, but maybe not. Ramsey's jumping in deeper. Radiant's he doesn't really have that much more to fight, but because of the Vanguard, he's stronger, Radiant's so he can continue to stand here on the front lines. And with the battery assault, not easy to hit him off, but with that iron shot on him, he still finds that extra damage, pushed away, and I think finally Ramsey's gonna say, enough is enough, well, except the fact that the Magnus died. Bit of strength and the drums coming out from Death Prophet to help her from the Mana Void and Finger, and here we go, our first and best bomb. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Fly's gonna engage on bottom lane, but Blinding gonna push him away. Ramsey just wants to stay close to it. Manalik makes it a little bit more difficult. Now Moon hooks shots in, catching out King R. And with a surprise infest inside of Crypt, the follow-up kick. Ramsey gets hit. King R will still go down here. Moon's battery assault will ensure that, not to mention the basic attack. But Ramsey's will survive, and that was a four-man smoke maneuver from OG, including infest committal. Okay, it's gonna be fine. They know Mokposhka's around there. But not exactly. Uh, yeah, you. Okay, maybe that's a good indication. <laughs> the sun ring kicks off, and uh, that's one way to find it. <laughs> Shoot. Ramses. Uh, yeah, I mean, he'll actually TP out in time. He. W they were pretty close. They, if they had started the recall a little bit earlier, maybe they would have gotten a hook shot. I don't know if they had the angle, but. I'm actually it was looking more towards mid. No tell. There's your RP. They're gonna turn on the sun ray with the double iron shells in the back. No tell. Look at his BKB up, and then triggers the invis rune. Allowing him to escape out and Moon, well, he wants to go in straight into the Nova from Phoenix. So Moon, well, he'll stay there with his Blade Melt turned on. The stun will not connect. They get the space. And then a quick Icarus dive away. Crit wants to go for more. Blink forward gets to kick onto Afterlife. That stun not affecting Miracle. Not while the Rage is up, but Afterlife surges away on 70 life. But the Mana Leak stops him from escaping out. So Lifestealer will be able to find the kill thanks to the stun coming in from the Mana Leak. I think <laughs> From range, Moon wants to do some damage to the blade mount, but the sunray wears off. And I, I wonder if this is a counter to sunray. Uh, the the blade mount? No. Oh, oh Ramses! Can he get out? No, he can't. He can't blink in time. Crit silences were absolutely Radiant's on the mark, and that damage from the life stealer is so huge. So now there's no anti mage, but your exorcism runs out in about five seconds' time in mid. And up for them. It's so. funny because I also want to keep my eyes up on top lane at the same time because they're prepping against No Tail. If Nozo dies, he can just buy back and get recalled. He's actually getting recalled in right now. Well, but here, here we go. Ramses, what do you see? You don't see anything in Smacks. They're all around him. And in fact, the jump into the double kick on Candle and King R with the follow up hook shot from Moon. They're able to control him. Ramses will blink into the tree lines and TP out safely. But you lost your Magnus and you're lying very, very quickly. Crit. Mid. 
it's Ultimate Cage is for Empire, so yeah, this is not going to happen. Imagine if they're, they had extra snow right now. They would just pop it right now with the creeps coming in the bottom, and yeah. then they would get the tower down, and then some. But now, they have to... Oh, now they're going to burn a BKB over on Nortel. He's down to 8 seconds on that BKB. Yeah, now they have to back off. Because their timing is just... It's its um, hard to do. They need daytime and they need hard. exorcism. Surge is coming forward. Scandal's got Blink and RP. He just goes for the skewer. It's going to be over on Moon. The Hex got right on the target, but Moon... Well, is there going to be enough damage? He backs it up with his one shot. The Sunray still burning him down with the Mana Boy. Branch finds the kill. However, he loses his Magnus in the process. Yeah, OG that's still doesn't have any kill. major ulties available. So most of these plays from Empire, they're just so desperate. They, they're not in a good position to fight. As soon as they chase down the hill, OG can split up and fight on their own kind of high ground. They have the trees on the right side. Oh man, Miracle just does so much damage. Yeah, Mapushka has not had a great game at all on that Phoenix. It even happened back when we were only like five, six minutes into the game. He was doing the same thing to Mapushka before. But Miracle's happy with this. Like He's not taking any massive damage. Continuing to work through the racks, the bottom creep wave's in there, they don't have Lion as a major threat when he drops down low, thanks to the fact that Crit managed to get a solo kill on him. If it gets to any point. He just seems to take a different role though in this game, which is that, that gank with Crit at all times. Yep. But you're also scared of no tail dying. There's so. your RP, no tail drags back, wait for that BKB, they force off him into the Earth Spike. So no tail is easily picked. And this is just starting to buy more and more time for Ramdi's to almost actually, for the first time in this game, have more net worth than oh, Miracle, Miracle does. Wow. Yeah, he's got he's got a hell of a lot, and I'm assuming he's just going to be looking into something like the Abyssal. Now they find another one! They found Miracle! Picking him up, throwing it back, they throw the Nova down too, Miracle's going to burn. So say goodbye to the Aegis, the Immortal. By the time he comes up, the Nova has already been expended. So Miracle's up and moon the Hawk shot! It actually caught the Puster on the way back out. Half-Life pushed outside of the cult. He'll have enough space now, in comes Ramdi. Look for that Mana Void, watch for the spill. Moves off all of his mana, no tug and a BKB, as well as exits him up. And well, there goes up, life's a gem of true fight lost into the hands of crit and a quick buyback comes out from Aposhka. They really want to keep that Sunray play on Miracle, keeping him away from the tower. No tell very far forward. The hook shot comes in. They find Ramsey in close. He does have that BKB over on the enemy. He'll turn it on just to escape from the fight. While the rest of OG continue to take out that bottom racks. Including the life stealer infested into the clockwork, but okay, so that's how they do it. They're gonna recall him back in just to jump in. Miracle, come on back. Has that uh, miracle finger of death gonna go on him? Hook shot forward from Moon. They catch out Scandal. There's no four stars to get him out of this one for the moment. He's trying to beat his way through the cogs, but he just can't do it fast enough. And Randy doesn't know where he wants to find from. Triggers off the mana star, starts to burn a little bit more mana. Can't do enough, but however, he does have that level 3 Mana Void, so he needs someone who's low, and Moon may just be that man. Mana Void through, the kick's coming in, Crit coming in close as well, they're all comes up pretty close together, but then Crit, the silence is too good, Ramses has to remain there being magnetized, now the silence will wear off, jump forward, there's a quick kill over onto the, over onto the clockwork, putting the gem back on the deck. So, Empire able to regather that, and finally, it looks like OG will be uh, stopping this. So already one third of the exorcism being wasted for minimal damage, but he did break, fit, break fortification. I like what they did more when No Tia died. It was just oh, using jump. rage. Miracle! Oh, he got the rage up in time. Again, I'm uh, trying to skewer him away. So now this top tier three tower is gone. Half last copy. A little bit of extra damage there. No tell. There's only a couple of seconds left that exorcism. They won't do any damage. It's gonna be repaired anyway. But Miracle isolated for the moment. Now he's gonna rage back up again. No tell wants to go in for the exorcism. Is coming back in. So he's lost that damage. Nova is down as well. Silence or not? That Phoenix gonna pop in just a moment. Miracle is also very close. This the double sun of Moon actually hooks on into crit. The shockwave is gonna be there. They kill off Death Prophet. They look towards Miracle. He can't finish up the rack. It's so low. The Cardi is actually gonna. The job. Randy, however, says no. He'll stop it. Miracle comes back to life. He'll do the work. Moon, a well off target hook shot. Can't find his target, but the infested life stealer has basically hitched a ride in the back of Motel. And now they've got an isolated Randy until now. Mana Void, not enough damage for it. Four staff away. Chris still playing Silly Buggers back inside the base. They get what they came for, OG. Even if it was scrappy, they may take out the melee racks on the bottom and uh, on the top, and the top uh, bottom range racks has also gone down. And that's in fact Magus. Miracle just comes in to finish the job. I like the itemization for Miracle a lot. The minus armor really synergizes well. Nice afterlife. Four staff into the back, Ramsey wants to go up, Miracle's got a load of protecting him right now, and Scandal, while he blocks the hook shot, he's gonna lose his life, or is he? He actually pushes Moon back in, unfortunately for him, Keeper, the light stuck with it, and now is OG all over the Empire base, 
They're gonna look for more. Another hook shot of him one second time. Moon. Okay. Yep. Of course it's Moon. He's going in for this one and will be punished. by Ramsey is an easy kill for him. You've still got Megas up and running. Uh, it's just a free gold there for Ramsey's. That's a lot of money on that courier. It's the uh, it's gonna be the end of the Shiva's guard, I believe. Oh, courier! No! You! Oops! 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 Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Triple kill!